imagine this, you're a big important head of state and you're coming to another country to attend a big global conference, say the G20. You need to travel not only in style and luxury, but also in safety. And that's not easy, especially when you have to travel all the way across the world. But a car like this is what should have you covered. It's the A8L Security. And this is one of 20 cars that was brought to India for the G20 Summit recently. And I'm going to tell you what makes this car just so, so special. Let's quickly talk about how this car looks because on the surface of things, it doesn't look too different from a standard A8. In fact, even like the A8 sold in India, this one's only available in the long wheelbase guys. You might even notice that it's the pre-facelift model because I don't think they did a facelifted version of the security. But it's once you get in a little bit closer that you start to notice the details. We'll start at the front where the grille is your typical elegant Audi affair. Really big, really chrome, but if you look closer, you'll see some flashing lights inside that let people know you're coming. Around the side, you notice that the wheels are a little bit smaller than the usual size, but that's because the tires are far more substantial. They're called PAX tires, and if they get punctured, they can still run for up to 80 kilometers at up to 80 kilometers an hour. Now, underneath the car, there's still air suspension. Don't worry about that. You'll still be very comfortable. But there is a whole lot of reinforcement too. In fact, it can even take a grenade blast. And the underside of the car is also anti-magnetized. So you can't have magnetic bombs that stick to the base of the car. How cool is that? Now, each of the doors weighs 160 kilograms. And that's because not only are they super reinforced, they also have reinforced glass. In fact, the whole car, the bodywork is VR9 rated for ballistics. The glass is VR10 rated, and that means it can take bullets from our Dragunov sniper rifle, which I'm told has explosive tip bullets. Yes, you're going to be safe in one of these. The fuel tank is also lined with a self-sealing material that, if penetrated by a bullet, will prevent the fuel from leaking so you can make your escape. And of course, it has a provision for the beacon light on the top, which plugs in neatly to a space in the B pillar. Now, there are subtler things too. Ordinary cars have regular tail lights, which have brake lights that tell people behind you when you're going to stop. This one goes a bit further with lights up here that tell people when you're going to accelerate. Yes, they glow green when you're accelerating, so the car behind you knows to accelerate as well. They go blank when you're not, and of course, the brake lights come on when you brake. So it's a full signal system so that you can drive efficiently and quickly and safely in a convoy. Now with all the additions and updates, the weight has of course gone up. The gross weight is now 4,450 kilograms with everything added on. And with all that weight, you think it is a bit of a slouch, but oh no, it's not. Under the hood is Audi's 4-liter TFSI engine with 571 horsepower and 800 newton meters. And with quarter all-wheel drive, they say this car will still do, despite all that weight, 0 to 100 kph in just 6.3 seconds. That's crazy. And if the unassuming exterior was hiding some secrets, you should see the interior. Now, I may be a long way off from being a head of state, but what if I wanted to be the driver of this car? It's not that simple. You have to be trained specially by Audi to drive one of these, not only because it weighs so much more, but also in how to be a defensive or offensive driver to protect the person who sits back there. Now, for any owner of this car who purchases it, Audi will train two of their drivers specifically on how to drive this car. And that also comes with training and all these extra functions that you'll find in the cabin. Now, first things first, Audi has told me strictly do not fiddle with any of the buttons because as a security measure, I could very well be locked inside this car if I press the wrong one, because that's just what it does. It is a vault. Now, while a lot of these functions can be accessed and controlled from the regular touchscreen, the really serious stuff has been assigned to these physical buttons over here because they are far more reliable and just will not fail in an emergency. There is a lesson here and I hope everybody's paying attention. But just what are these cool hidden features? 
So you can of course operate all the alarms and sirens and flashing lights from inside here but there are a couple of features that I'm particularly interested in. One is the emergency exit system which if you press it and you're locked inside the car it will blow explosives on the hinges of the doors that will blast them off from the body of the car so that you can escape safely. The second one I'm interested in is the fresh air system. If the car detects uh, toxic gas outside it will automatically give you an alarm and you can activate the fresh air system that will run for five minutes with four people in the car providing clean air while you make your getaway. And finally there's the fire extinguisher system. This car has sensors all around the base of it that detect if there is a fire that's being driven over or driven through and it will activate the fire suppression system that fires fire extinguisher gas from underneath the car to douse out a fire before it gets into or onto the vehicle. Now all that's well and good but what about the VVIP who has to sit in the back seat? Now assuming you are a head of state you will have a big burly bodyguard to shut that 160 kilogram door for you but once you sat back here you'll know that it is just as luxurious as any Audi A8 L. You get everything from the heated cooling, massaging seats, the uh, chauffeur package that lets you put well the front passenger seat ahead for more legroom if you're sat on that side and of course the split cabin with this centre console protruding up here with the control panel. But there are some very fascinating things about this car. For one, by default, you get windows that don't open. Opening windows are an option on this car because as a security measure, it's better that the windows don't open, but some uh, owners do prefer the windows that go down. On top of that, this car takes 400 hours more to make than a standard A8L and that's because all the additions are hand assembled and customers of course don't mind waiting that long to get their A8L security delivered. And finally, how much is all this going to set you back? Well, the starting price is about 12 crore rupees and that's before you start adding on the options. But hey, like they say, you can't put a price on safety. So if you were a head of state or a multi-billion dollar industrialist, would the Audi A8L security be your armored limousine of choice? Let us know down in the comment section below and like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to Autocar India.